Welcome, everybody, to episode 17 of the Hot Rod Blues podcast. I am your host, Sean Burton. Next to me is... Sean Young, Coldwater High School. Mike Abbott, Steel Rose Metal Co. Javier Agustin, Bomber Steel Customs. And to my right is our good friend, the real deal, Gene McCoy. <laughs> Gene right. McCoy. Hey. We finally got Gene on the, oh, yeah. on the podcast. Been talking about him the whole time now. This is this is Gene. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. What's I, left of me? Ah, how you feeling today, Gene? <laughs> I'm feeling really good. Yeah. Have been for the last couple of days. Yeah. This yeah. place, you know, so this place is like a sanctuary to me now. Oh, ever really? since we've become friends. Well, it's my sanctuary, too. How long has it been like that for you? Not uh, this exact shop, just, just the shop in general. Mm, like, when did you start turning wrenches? Oh, gosh. Back um, probably around 1968, 1970. Yeah. Um, I got interested in cars when I was just a kid because all the older guys had cars souped up of some sorts. And I guess the real thing that really kicked it in, I went to the Nationals when it was at the fairgrounds. Yeah. And uh, I said, man, this is it. This is it. Yeah. What and year was that, do you think? Um, Off the top of your head. Was that in 75? 75. Yeah. The one that Paul made all the belt buckles for? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I think that was 75. You got yeah. a belt buckle? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you wear it yeah. reg- regularly on yeah. Sunday? No, it's in the collection <laughs> up there. But, yeah, he uh, cast those belt buckles for that year. Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. cool. Did everybody get one, or was it a no. I got, cool, I got one. Sean got you're, one. You don't got one? No. I, I got one. Uh, what? You're not, uh, yeah. you're, you're not cool enough to get one. Yeah, Sorry, buddy. I, I heard Paul was uh, actually going to break the casting out for me to get mine. You mm. didn't get yours? Yeah. You didn't get yours? <laughs> no. He didn't ask you about no. it? No. Oh, I can't I, believe I'm Are we talking about Paul Cosmo? Yeah. I don't know Paul. I've never met Paul. That's probably why you didn't get one. I didn't get mine from Paul. I know somebody, though, Sean. I'll, I'll get you one. Evidently. Yeah, I'll yeah. promise. Oh, really? We have to start yeah. numbering those. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Paul. This joke is completely <laughs> your <spouse. laughs> Oh, anyway, well. So, yeah. No, we're sitting in a really cool spot. You can't yeah. see. All, I wish there were more camera angles that you could just cycle through so you could see all the cool stuff in your shop. Well, so, that's what B-roll's for. Yeah. That's right. Look to the B-roll. That's right. Well, you know what? You put it at the end of the C-roll, so you have to stick around or you have to fast forward. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, so Gene and I became acquainted through Car World again through our group, through Mike. And I wouldn't even know you if it wasn't for the legend show. No, that's show. true. Um, I guess it really hit home when we met down there one Saturday. Uh, yeah, and it was, uh, uh, was it shop day? Yeah, Open shop? it was yeah. shop day. Well, yeah. I had met, I, was that before or after the legend show? That was after. Uh, was it? I met okay. you doing buck riveting at, yeah, the, at that's the legend right. show. Yeah, at the show up there. And you were... You just kind of quietly observing a Saturday, and yeah, I got the reason we even became acquainted and became friends is sitting right behind us. Well, here. that's true. So, yeah, you yeah. were looking for a Model A. I or? was not. I was. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, was, not. I, I was already not. had a Model okay. A, and you neither were you. You had a Model A. You well, that's a true. No, I don't. Uh, uh, it all kind of fell into place. It's amazing how know. things like that happen in the yeah. world. Though, yeah. and, uh, uh, Mike was there to watch that. Yeah, that <laughs> was yeah. pretty remarkable. Uh, well, you know that thing. This this exact car, and if uh, Spanky out of Spanky Hot Rods is uh, Mike is watching this, uh, he knows the full story on that. That thing haunted me for two months. I don't know how it stayed on the marketplace for two. Well, months. I saw it um, a couple of times, but it just kind of went over my head. Never really well I mean, much about it, and then you mentioned it, and yeah, just in that's that. what made the. The connection, yeah, yeah. So, so essentially, uh, I bought your I bought your body. Well, if you weren't looking for one, I'm sorry. Oh no, I mean, I, I needed another project. Yeah, like I, I still need another project. Well, I mean, you jumped on it very. You know, it just one of those things that I know fleshed yeah. out. But I'm glad it did because yeah. friendship was definitely yeah. born that day. Yeah, um, we went down to Mike's and grabbed that, yeah. and uh, I bought yours. Yeah. So. Let me give you some history, if that's okay. Go do it. Yeah. Um, I was working down at the Commercial Appeal, down at the Memphis Plumbing Company, and I'd gotten into the hot rods, built a garage. Uh, We were living over in Parkway Village. Well, I think it was Coleman Taylor was over one one street over from Union, and I saw a hot rod kind of like this. It was a 32, 34 cab with a little homemade bed, and... uh, I found the guy that owned it, and uh, I said, is that thing for sale? He said, yeah. 
I said, well, what would you have to be asking for it? I mean, you know, I didn't have any money hardly, just, mm -hmm. just getting started. And he said, well, I'll take $500. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that, that lets you know. So I got a friend that had a wrecker, and uh, we went down there and got it. And, uh, boy, when I pulled up in the driveway, my wife said, what do you plan on doing with that thing? Well, she had other words to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Junk. I said, well, I'm going to try to get it going. And, uh, yeah, that was probably, well, we were living over there in 70, um, 75, 76, somewhere over in there. Yeah. But that's pretty well started the ball rolling. They had taken and sectioned off the bottom because I guess it was right. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just. It was a bare bones little hot rod. Dig it. Yeah. Did she ask you how much you paid for it? Oh yeah, I yeah. had to tell did her. She, did she hit the ceiling when you told her? No. No. Uh, she was okay with that. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, I mean, in what seventy six, seventy five hundred dollars. That was probably that was a lot like, of money. Uh, yeah, that's, that's like three. Money. That's like yeah. three thousand now. Probably. Oh yeah. Yeah, you that know, was a lot it, of money. Uh, but. Uh, when I was growing up, before we got married, I had a 67 Plymouth Barracuda. Dig it. Four-speed, Formula S, high-performance 273. Nice. Love that car. Yeah. And uh, went to high school in, in it. And, but when we got married, I, we traded it off for something more. Family friend. Yeah. Before you leave the Barracuda behind, I want I want you to touch on some of the things you did in that Barracuda and what you would do in the middle of the night when y'all were courting <laughs> you and Miss Linda. <laughs> okay, this is a whole different story. <laughs> we uh, like those. Yeah, I know. Um, I had the Barracuda. Coyable drag strip was alive and going yeah. back then. Yeah. Back on out on Highway seventy two. Well, that was a dust bowl. Right. But anyway. Linda had to be home uh, about 11 o'clock. Right. Well, they raced up until 1 or 2 in the morning out there. So I would hop, drop her off at home. I would hightail it out to Coyville and drag race the Barracuda. <laughs> I ran elf stock. Dig that. <laughs> yeah. I had uh, cutouts. I'd open up the exhaust pipe cutouts. Uh, had a... Had a 373. It was four speed. Yeah. I could take on the road runners because it was only one eighth of a mile. Right. So, uh, but I had a heck of a time and I had to be home by 12 or 1230. And, you know, going through Germantown was a one light That's town. Right. Well, I was running late. And I went through Germantown 100 miles an hour, <laughs> oh. ran that light. And made it home. Didn't but, get caught. No. Wow. <laughs> Dig they that. were all asleep. Yeah. So if any Germantown police are listening, just forget what I said. <laughs> <laughs> They're long since retired. I'm yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But, more uh, than one how stop how right old now. were you at this time? Um, probably 19. 20. Really? So you and Linda have been together that long. Oh, yeah. We had, That's epic, yeah, man. That's uh, awesome. We have known uh each other going on 55 years wow that's so awesome we dated for like two years yeah yeah did and her dad like you uh yeah he was, he was okay a, with the barracuda and oh yeah he's yeah a, wasn't he yeah. one of the ones that got you deep off into ranching wasn't it uh linda's dad uh, kind of y'all used to fix yeah, stuff we would work on his cars and uh you know he pretty well was a do-it-yourselfer yeah he had a station wagon that had a 390 dig it yeah kind of like uh what's that show vacation oh uh, yeah yeah I mean, that thing was a tank yeah. Yeah. yeah but uh you know if any repairs were to made were to be made he yeah. would dig that yeah and uh do brake jobs small tune tune-ups i mean out of a one-car garage right right whether it was cold or yeah hot well, that was common at that day oh, and age. Yeah. You know, you had to be mechanically inclined yeah. to own a car. But uh, uh, we that was about the the biggest thing, I guess, with the Barracuda. And then you graduated straight to a 32 Ford. 
Uh, <laughs> you, you went from no, Barracuda to the 32. I got to step. I got to step in for a second. I don't know where this falls in line, but there was one story that you told me. We have a lot, but he uh, as hot as Model A's are right now, and that's how we we well, always had a Model A story. Tell me about what happened when uh, you had to, I guess, let one go, and it wound up in pieces. What was it? the Model A? You said yeah, it'll break your heart. I but cut I, it up with a cutting <laughs> torch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell, what, how's that story go? Oh, uh, you really don't want to know. <laughs> ah, I mean, uh, I cut things all day. I'll Jim. put the yeah, right? I'll put the punchline on this it. This thing you, was yeah. everything. It had more rust on it than any car I'd ever seen, and I was trying to um, salvage it. Yeah. But one day I got in the mood and I had a new cutting torch and I cut that baby up. Like nobody's business. <laughs> and, and the, but you could go buy a Model A for 50 bucks, you know. Right, you know? right. Different day. Now yeah. you got to add two zeros on oh, that. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was nothing to – they had a little want ad paper here called East Memphis Shoppers News. Yeah. And you could find stuff all the time. And right. That you could buy a Model A cow for 25 bucks. Wow. You know, uh, it was – the stuff was out there more than it is now. Of course. But I think, um, yeah, I, I graduated. I, we built a tea bucket. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you went from the Barracuda to, to a, tea a tea bucket. bucket. Uh-huh. Dig that. And it was pretty fast. Yeah. Uh, what motor? A uh, small block. The motor was built by Lenati. Okay. And we put it uh, together. Yeah. And uh, everything, that's back when Chroman was cheap that's right you can chrome yeah. everything yeah so it had uh chrome anything that could be chromed it yeah. was chromed right and i even there was a, a guy here in town uh that did polishing on aluminum yeah and and i even had the transmission polished yeah <laughs> dig that yeah dig i mean that. he ground that thing down smooth yeah. And that baby was shiny. Wow. I mean, it looked really good. Yeah. So the framework, after I got it put together, it was prettier than the car. Uh, wow. Yeah. It was kind of a uh, plum crazy. Yeah. Purple. Yeah. Kind of that range. Yeah. yeah. Had, two, uh, had two different interiors over its life. Oh, you had, man. Yeah. That's <laughs> another story. <laughs> We I'm gonna, I'm gonna let I'm not gonna let you lay off on. Oh them. yeah, <laughs> we were in a show down in Sardis, the catfish run, and uh, I had the tea bucket down there. Well, we decided to bring the tea bucket home Saturday, Saturday night, and I had been warned there was a storm coming. Well, it was, and I was on Shelby Drive, just got off Interstate 55, and the bottom fell out. And no top on this right. car. It's an ice cream scoop with a small block Chevy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. hey, I can't imagine what people thought that were passing me or going by me, but they were the raindrops felt like BBs. I bet. Oh yeah. Yeah, and uh, I finally made it. Well, before I got to the car wash to get a little shelter, I hydroplaned over there, uh, sharp, Mendenhall. Yeah. All right. The thing hydroplaned, went around like that ride at the fair. (laughs) Gravitron. Gravitron. uh, The Tilt-A-Whirl. Yeah, Yeah, the Tilt-A-Whirl. Luckily, I didn't hit anything. The car kept running. I got my wits together and uh, made it to a car wash and stayed there till it quit raining. (laughs) And I didn't live that far from this car wash. Made it home. (laughs) And the... uh, it had a tweed interior. Oh, oh yeah, that's gone. And, yeah. Smelled like a wet dog. Not, oh, <laughs> that's classic 90s I right mean, there. It was squishy. Squ- uh, squishy. It, it took probably, I don't think the thing ever dried out. Yeah. So yeah. I, What year was that? Um, gee whiz, Mike. That was probably around 81, 82, okay. Dig somewhere that. in there. Took the interior out. And uh, uh, had another one put in. Yeah. So, 
Did you go back with the vinyl? No, I went back with uh, imitation leather, I guess. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, that way you can wipe the water off of right. it. Right. You didn't yeah. have that problem right. anymore. <laughs> I was say because uh, tweed probably tweed once you uh, once you dried it out it probably shrink like a uh, it was, oh yeah I mean it shrink up to nothing smelled real bad. everything yeah. came unglued unraveled yeah you know. did you put a hole saw in the center of that thing and put a shower drain in it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no it was beyond I was I got out of the car and walked in the house and. That was pretty much it. Yeah. You know. You were done with the tea bucket air? Uh, no. no I you had still it. had it? I still had it. And uh, we had moved out here uh, in 95, and I still had that car then. And I sold it to a guy that worked for um, the Millington Telephone Company. Dig that? Yeah. And uh, that thing popped up on a Facebook page here a while back. And I said, man, this thing looks mighty familiar. And sure enough, it was the car. Oh, I would have had to get it back. Uh, I don't know. It was ta- this picture was taken at a car show. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I contacted the guy. I sent him an email. He said, "Well, these are just random pictures that I pick out." Right. You know. So uh, I said, "Well, that's my car." The purple you tea know. bucket still purple. Uh, it was still yeah, yeah. It had. Uh, mm. It had two fours on it, um, typical headers coming yeah. out the side, uh, two front axle. But uh, I think I've seen that car. You might have. Yeah. It I, had a. I remember two purple cars. Well, you know, I, two purple. Yeah, uh, last time I heard it was um, <clears throat> Millington. It was in Millington. Yeah. 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 I've seen one in Millington. Yeah. yeah. I, I he, can't remember what show. It was. He had it. Until his wife, she had a hard time getting out of it, and she fell, and it was time oh, for the car to go. Yeah, that's right. You, and, can't, you uh, can't be tripping the wife. Right. Yeah, yeah, no. Doesn't yeah, work. Don't work. Uh-uh. He had to get rid of the car. But, yeah, he lived in Millington. Huh. Yeah. So let's rewind a little bit. Um, sure. What you did for a living and oh, how long you did it. Okay. What, what, what brought you to that? Uh, well, I was a sheet metal worker. Yeah. And uh, that's why pro- that's why Mike had to ask that question. He's like, "Ooh, sheet metal yeah. work now." <laughs> uh, he's a he's a he's a forty year veteran of sheet metal yeah, work. Exactly. That's impressive. Exactly. If you count the t- time that I got out of high school, that was my first real job. It was working for a shop. The building is still there um, at Sycamore View. No, that's. Uh, Pleasant View, Pleasant View and Bartlett Road. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bar- yeah. It was a company called Bell & Harden. I started out there making $1.35 an hour. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. And, and that was doing a, that was being a fab guy? Uh, yeah, I worked in the shop. Uh-huh. Uh, my job was making the round pipe. Dig that. Yeah. And uh, most of it was oh, 26, 28 gauge. Right. You know, and... Uh, Made that and did other stuff, fabricating stuff. Um, but then that job kind of played out, and I decided, well, I'm going to stay in the sheet metal trade. Right. So after that, um, I got into sheet metal local number four as an apprentice. Yeah. And stuck with it yeah. up until about seven or eight years ago. So you were a union sheet metal guy yeah. for how many years? Uh, actually, about 38. Wow. Yeah. What led you to um, HVAC, uh, making duct work and stuff um, like that? What, what, what brought you to that point? I guess I liked it because it was shiny. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that. Just like a barracuda. <laughs> right? <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the galvanized metal was shiny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, I didn't care nothing about going to college. I really right. wanted to learn a trade. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the I, I tell you, it was uh, the first shop I worked at, I worked for a good guy. Yeah. And uh, worked around a good bunch, bunch of folks. And, uh, you know, you paid your dues. Right. Like anybody else does when you're in that kind of trade. You do all the grunt work. That's right. You know, but I was young enough where I could, you know, take it. 
Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't complain. I just nodded. Okay. Right. You want me to go do that? You know, go go get drinks at break. Yeah. And I kind of like that because I'd always keep the change. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. That's the pros of getting drinks. Yeah. That's smart. You know, so uh, I, I got to be honest with you. I've heard a few stories that, that you were the guy dishing out the dues um, later on in your career. Okay. Um, Who you been talking Phil, to? Phil, <laughs> Philip Bickery told me that uh, okay. if, 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 they were, if they were having somebody they didn't like, they put them with you. Is that true? Uh, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You didn't cut nobody no slack. No. Absolutely. I didn't care if you were the boss's son or daughter. That's right. Uh, you, you were, were going to pay dues. You were going to work. Yeah. Just like everybody else. Yeah. 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 It was no lolly gagging around. So how uh, long were you in the sheet metal trade before you started trying to take what you were learning in sheet metal trade and apply it to this. Oh, um, what do you mean? What, like uh, applying it to hot rods. Oh, yeah. Um, um, second day? Probably. Second day? <laughs> no, 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 no. I really didn't start. I didn't really have uh, a place to do it right. until we moved out here. Yeah. And uh, it's grown into this. Yeah. And I'll... I'll throw this in. That eight foot break was my retirement gift to me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Dig that. Who gave yeah. that to you? He did. Me. You gave it to you. Yeah. First of all, I want to yeah. thank me for yeah. believing in me. Yeah. Because I said uh, the union didn't didn't send you off with no tools. Uh, my only my own. Oh man, man come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? So what did you get when you retired from the union? A gold watch. Uh, a yeah, I got, did get uh, a go. gold watch. You did? Yeah. And a plaque. And a plaque. Uh, I got several, um, you know, 50-year award, 25-year okay. awards, wow. stuff like that. Uh, you know, got, um, I don't know, numerous things down through the years. Yeah, yeah. But uh, So what led you to doing buck riveting? How long? How long ago was that, and what kind of led you to that? I picked up a Street Rotter magazine, and I still have that magazine. It's wore out, by the way. Yeah. But I ought to be able to tell you the date. But there was a 32 Ford Roaster in there, and uh, this guy, Frank Wallach, yeah. he was doing the aluminum work. Yeah. And I said, man, this is killer here. Yeah. I really like this, so... Uh, my first riveting job was very crude. Of course. Uh, I mean, I didn't have the air gun or any kind of tools. Right. I didn't know I was using big 3 sixteenths rivets, yeah. which were too big. Yeah. But uh, uh, that's really looking at that book. And when I was a kid, I loved airplanes. Right. You know. I'm still in love with the beast, the Memphis Bell. Yeah. And uh, uh, I just like that aircraft industrial look. For sure. You Do know. you still have that first piece that you riveted together? The first piece? Yeah. It's probably that seat right back. Really? In that cab. Yeah. yeah. That was probably the real major thing I did. Yeah. Uh, as far as seats and... I'll take a look. Yeah, at that. it was uh, sitting right over there. Yeah, yes, that's actually we'll get we're gonna get. To well, that. I take that back. Okay, uh, there was another article in one of the books where the guy had made the round seats. Yeah, um, kind of like a barrel back. Yeah, absolutely. That Lee has got. Yeah, in his pickup, I, that's really the first seat out of aluminum i made the ones in lee's pickup yeah really yeah oh, those, yeah. oh you did those yeah. yeah yeah i've seen those those are uh, nice yeah and sure. Ma- y'all know mackie yeah yeah he uh they were putting on a show and uh i said well i'll make you up a pair of seats that y'all can auction off it was like that yeah and i've still got the pattern for those seats so you yeah. know they're real simple not not as complex as some of this other stuff. Right. But I studied that magazine. I even called Wallach himself, and uh, 
He gave me a few pointers. Dig that. Yeah. What a guy. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I know now why those guys don't do it because it's very time consuming. Hell yeah, it is. It is, it is a lot of work. Yeah. So I'm going to put a lot of pictures of uh, of your 32, of this tan car on the podcast. Oh, yeah. So, it, yeah, you guys won't believe this. I mean, it is. It, it's it's unbelievable. It's well, yeah. it's the sedan for that matter. True. I mean, the sedan's yeah. also just uh, – a rock well, with rivets. Ha, yeah. have, you, have you ever pulled the seat cushion out of the 32? Hmm. Have you seen under the seat cushion, the seat you actually sit on? Have you seen under it? No, but I'm going to have to now. No, yeah, well, the devil's in the details, man. That thing. It's going to blow your mind. Yeah. Okay. Something you never see. You're not even see. ready. Mm-mm. You're not even ready. And I mean, this is the thing that no one will ever see. No one's going to walk up to your car and like pull the bottom seat cushion out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why I would guess, you except, do that? Except yeah. for me, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. what does it look like? Oh, wow. <laughs> that... That what threw me off on that seat was the back. The back is arched uh, up to vertical, right? You know, from the bottom to the top, and then there's another back that is arched from left to right. That's right. Yeah, that's and, hard. Yeah, and you have to attach those two pieces together and make sure it looks halfway decent and it does yeah and it threw me uh for a, a loop you yeah because i studied it but i tell you what i did i probably cheated i was at george's one of his get togethers and i asked him can i borrow a seat and he he bobby madden was working for him at the mm-hmm. time and he told bobby let gene Bar your seat, so it was one that Wallach had built. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's you, epic. You reverse you engineered the article, it. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you had so, one there. Yeah. Oh, come yeah. on. But that's, that's just awesome. motivation. Yeah. yeah. That's car. That's hot rod and stuff. And I was thrilled really to death that he let me borrow that. You yeah. Know. Absolutely. And uh, it's like getting your getting your, your hands on your yeah your hero's yeah. thing. They touched. He, uh, you know. He had made one out of copper. I like copper. Yeah. And man, that thing's a work of art. Let me tell you, it, it'll blow your mind. Yeah. To see that. Well, work. let's let's touch a little bit on the technical side of it. So, what size rivets do you normally use? Uh, size and length. So uh, diameter. Well, length. the length varies on the thickness. If yeah. You're joining some pieces to uh, together. Yeah. Um. Mostly the one eighth rivets. Yeah. And I have no idea what size head. No idea what size. Uh-uh. Yeah. Um, you use the round head though, right? Yeah, the dome. Yeah, and yeah. then on the back side of it, do you flatten it or do you do you dome the back side too? Uh, I just flatten it. You flatten because it because usually I have a bucking bar. Right. Uh, back there on the back side. Yeah. And uh, I try to make it where you don't really see it. If it's too long, I'll take a little die grinder. And buzz it down. Yeah. Yeah. And knock it down some. And what's the name for that little piece that you gave me so you don't have chatter marks on your sheet metal? That little plastic piece you gave me for the... Uh, oh, that's just a guard that goes over the head of the uh, the rivet. Yeah. Yeah. That keeps the chatter marks out. What, yeah. What, uh, what gauge sheet metal do you normally use? Uh, mostly 063 for seats. Okay. And maybe some 050 for door panels. Dig that. In that neighborhood. Okay. Uh, some of that edging that is made for those seats, um, it's probably made out of 040, right. 045, because you want to be able to uh, put it in the shrinker stretcher. It's like a cap that right. goes over a raw edge. For sure. Yeah. And uh, what you end up doing is you make it a little long on one side so you can run the hit it right and then you cut that extra off and you got a nice cap right strip that yeah. goes over that aluminum yeah versus doing like a hemmed edge or something to that yeah effect. i've it. never man doing a hemmed edge is hard oh yeah without uh, warping it yeah up. yeah it's 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 tough to uh to make that thing look good yeah <laughs> i yeah. messed up more than i would we all have. know. <laughs> we all have. 
All right, that's enough technical sheet metal. Sorry, we had to nerd out on sheet metal. <laughs> and guys. we're back. My bad. My this bad. Hot Rod Blues. I had to nerd out on sheet metal a little bit. Uh, I love metal. For you those know, of you just joining us, we just got woke up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the, the Mike and Gene no, show. It's I, all I, I am sorry no, it's for all. nerding out on sheet metal. Is we how knew, many times we knew it's going to happen? Oh no! How many know. times are you going to get another metal guy on here? <laughs> Name another one. There's me. There's Gene. There's Justin. There's Bob. <laughs> yeah. Bob. There's the other Bob. No, we've had, oh, yeah, we've Bob had, Schreiber. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 We, we've had a few uh, metal guys on Name here. another one other than that. Well, I mean, hell, we've only had, what, a few episodes, man. <laughs> we're, I mean, we're, we're on 17. 17. <laughs> we're on 17. We had two metal guys. Um, well, that I, seems like a lot. I'm just joshing you, man. It I, is a lot. I, I it is a lot you. out of 17. That's a lot higher number. I than promise I you, there's people at home every time he was opening his mouth that were writing down exactly what he's. Well, doing. yeah, especially you know, once they see this yeah. work. Oh, um, yeah, and, and you should. They're gonna want to know that should. technical info. Yeah. yeah, and knowing it doesn't make it happen, which is yeah, yeah you got to get to work. You got to get to well, work. Well, the so. details to me is what pretty well makes it. I mean, it may take you a long time. But believe me, in the end, it's worth it. Yeah. Well, uh, I can say this from just being in here um, with you all. The, the time that I have is uh, your style is meticulous. Yeah. Well, thank you. Very meticulous. It's all. Uh, it, it, there's nothing. It's quality. It's all quality. And, I, and uh, it, no doubt it's from discipline well, in the trades. Uh, yeah. I, I, it's, a, it's an illness. <laughs> yeah. It really yeah. is. Say, yeah, it's a meticulous. It's, uh, meticulous it's equals disease, time you know. consuming. Well, and yeah. equal equals show stopping. Yeah, I've got my is, so. share of battle scars from meat hooks. If anybody don't know what a meat hook is, you haven't done metal work. That's right. So, uh, you know. Well, I will. I will take this this brief minute to let you know one of my favorite things, my favorite qualities about you is that. You're humble as humble gets, but your work is unreal. Um, well, I appreciate that it, so much. It, it really is. Coming. It's mind blowing. Well, thank. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, you probably don't hear that a lot. Um, no. Because it's just like those because skirts. you spend that time saying no, it's not that great, but it's epic. Yeah. Your well, your work is epic. But you know, he also doesn't get out much. I mean, like you know, like the thirty one. The first time I saw it, you know, I was like, what? Where's this thing been? It's been, oh, it's been built for six years or whatever. I'm yeah. like, what? Well, there was a, mm, that's a 10-year project, it felt like, but it was probably eight years. Uh, had some, you know how it is with I cars. Do. Setbacks. Yeah. Y-block yeah. setbacks. Well, Frame setbacks. Yeah, I yeah. was going to change say, it. Roof change of direction setback. Yeah. You know, that thing was supposed to have gold wing doors at some at one point. Wasn't it, it was going to be like, uh, yeah, it was all louver top. The and, sedan? Yeah. Oh yeah, this thing went through three different iterations. And uh, yeah, what it, it was going how, how did yeah how did it, how did it start? What was your Actually, original vision? That's a great no. Let's rewind it, yeah. the tape all the way back. Yeah. How did you get it, and where did it sit when you first got it, and who didn't know about it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so so this this car is a, a car that I've shot for for modern riding. So it'll be it'll be coming out. So I was waiting to write the article until this until we met, yeah. so that I could uh, you know if there was any more information uh, in in this conversation. Oh, it's happening! It's about to happen right there. now. So yeah, so so there'll be a lot of writing tomorrow, actually. So um, but. Yeah, go ahead. Tell us tell us about how you got the car and, and okay the car the body came from David Meek and he bought it up in Springfield and uh, he didn't want it after he bought it. And I said, well, if you don't want it, I'll take 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 it and try to build the car. Um, uh, I sandblasted it, got it in etching primer, started building the frame, and I wanted a nostalgia motor that would kind of fit that period of car, not your typical small block. You right. know, I wanted to keep it all forward. The car is all forward um, as far as I could C6 transmission, the Y block, forward rear end, um, you know, and it was just a, I don't know, what's the phrase people use when they want something really bad? It was longing for it. No, what do you mean? Uh, it was a passion. Oh, yeah. yeah. No matter what she did to me, oh, I was going to see. <laughs> You're a battered spouse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, we went through some changes, changed the rear end. This, 
it was Z'd too much for me. I had Z'd the car in the back 16 inches, and uh, it just didn't work. It yeah. didn't work. Um, I changed the front end. How many times, Javi? Twice? Uh, three times. Yeah. Oh. It was too low. It was too high. Then it was too low. Then you just right. Yeah, it, like it looked like it Goldilocks was fixed, situation. It looked like it was fixing to take off. Yeah, which you see some cars like that now, but Gasser. I wanted a little <laughs> rake <laughs> squatting. Yeah. yeah, I wanted a little rake to the car, so I got innovative and uh, it's a mono spring up there. The perches are going into the wishbones, and uh, <laughs> I had this thing all put together with the motor in it, body on it, rolling like this pickup is here. And you could step on the front of the frame, and the wishbones would do like this. Yeah. Uh. So I talked to Paul about it, and he said, well, go in there and slice the wishbone and put a piece of quarter-inch plate. Yep. I did that, and that took it all away. Hmm. So everything. You know, those wishbones, those are what, 46? Uh they arch up in the front. Yeah, they got yeah. the dog leg. Yeah, they, they got, got the, the dog, dog leg. leg. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so yeah. what we were talking about, Gene, before we were rudely interrupted by the battery, was the uh, the dog leg on your uh, A model uh, wishbones. He was asking if they're 46s, and it's because I was going to jump in. Is ever since I met this guy, I've started collecting A model parts. It's yeah. A, it's a disease. Yeah. He's right. It is. I have a surplus. It's but better than dope. I, mean, I don't know why it better. It's it's it is. it's probably it's around the same. Dope. It's more expensive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so what those uh, those wishbones? What year are those? Forty six through forty eight, I believe. So yeah. that I have a pair of those that uh, actually Matt gave me. Oh uh, yeah. And uh, my little roadster, it's uh, it's going to work out perfect on. Yeah. That. It uh, I've got a pretty heavy channel on it, yeah. and I was wondering where those wishbones were going to end up, and that little dog leg. But perfect it, right? Right? it seemed to, to work out pretty good on that car uh, yeah if, if yeah. it wasn't for the sedan and and you i wouldn't even know that that was an option yeah i i've yeah. collected i have three sets of those now yeah. <laughs> three IBs. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. how that works yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean i might know where one is <laughs> but yeah so uh so back to the sedan yeah we're on the sedan now all right uh the drama we went through the drama. Yeah, you said okay. the thing was sitting uh, set up, and you started reverse engineering everything. Yeah, we started in redoing the uh, the front end, and uh, Mackie was over here at the time we cranked the motor, <laughs> and uh, well, we noticed something leaking out of the draft tube, and it looked green. Uh oh. Yeah, and uh, next thing we know, we pull the heads off. The number seven cylinder had a crack in it. Ugh. Yeah. Y blocks. Y blocks, exactly. So uh, I called Paul about it, and he said, well, just get it out of the car and bring it down there, and we'll see what we can do. Well, it was irreparable. I think the crack was too big. Wow. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. 312. Yeah, yeah. it was. Well, I, we, I learned one thing, and he did too, I'm sure. Don't bore out a 312. It's already been bored 40 out, 40 <laughs> over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you end up with a mess. It's done. Yeah. And, uh, but we were able to get the car fixed, and uh, I think Tommy Bourne had a block. I'm not sure, but I ended up getting one from him, and it was buildable. Yeah, that was out of Mississippi. Yeah. yeah. We drove by his house when he said I, it was out of a farm truck or something, wasn't it? Um, don't know. Or was that the one with the 272 we tore That's down? That's the one over there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so let's go back to these Goldwing doors <laughs> on oh, the sedan. Okay. Yeah. How, how'd you get to that? Well, I don't know. It kind of reminded me of aircraft. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you the pilots would mm, swing open something or they would be ejected and that thing would fly <laughs> up. Well, I had a centerpiece and then these two doors. Right. And uh, it was just, that wasn't the way to exit. That was just the way to open them up and look down in the car. Right. So they were all louvered. Uh, I still have them back there in the back uh, barn back there. But uh, there was a lot of structural work. and It's still in the car. Yeah. There's I, left a, if the, you, I left the structural yeah. If you ever get a chance to look at it, and if that thing there. could withstand a rollover, it probably would. Yeah, it's would. got a roll cage, yeah. basically. 
but uh, that's uh, I was really kind of going for the aircraft bomber look at the time. Yeah, and uh, I think I, you still accomplish that. Well, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you so know. why why did you go away from the doors? Did it, did they not um, work or or you just didn't? No, like we them? had them. It it was a cabinet hinge. Uh, that we used and it was kind of weird they came from Home Depot and it kind of went down and back in yeah (laughs) you know yeah and uh, it it was smooth but um, I could see problems later on down the road alignment issues sagging trying to keep it from flying up Um, it just wasn't gonna be if it's anything like any of my cabinets it squeaked yeah, I think those are called French hinges. <laughs> yeah, it, I think uh, they're French. Yeah. If I had to do it all over again, I would probably do it a different way. Yeah. But uh, you know, it just didn't suit me after I got it done. Right. And uh, now the floor in that thing is it faux? Is it painted wood? Uh, no, it's uh, eighteen gauge metal. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it's uh, it's painted, and then I think the technique was paint. Uh, a base coat of it's like a burnt orange well it's black red, red with black it's black with yeah. red oxide right and, and then it. sanded through yeah. with scotch bright that's it. right and, and it kind of gives it a leathery wood yeah. look to it i didn't really know what i was doing it I looks just, cool i don't oh, know said, cool. well i'm going to try it yeah and yeah. see what it does and the dashboard is the same way uh Oh, I'm sorry. You're good. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're no, good. I like it. Let's cut that. And the out. dashboard <laughs> is the Drum same. Roll. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we need a symbol. All right, I, I just I got remembered. Down. I just remembered something really awesome. I'm gonna let you. The seats, the covering on the seats. Where do the what? Oh <laughs> man, we went to a we went on a cruise, and uh, those things came what, from. Yeah. Where did you go? From. Genuine Mexican seats. <laughs> so, so the cushions. The, the, cushions. Blanket. the blankets. The blankets. They're, they're, yeah. they're, they're it's Mexican a, blankets serapes. from Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Genuine. Is yeah. that the name for them? That's the technical yeah. name yeah, for them? Yeah. Serapes? Yeah. Yeah, that's what, yeah. My, that's what my door panels are done. It's in. a serape. Yeah. yeah. I, I've, I've never, never heard that rain, the term. It's, it's not just a rainbow pattern, it's anything of that cloth yeah. color uh, i guess i just right. assumed that even in mexico that. they called them mexican blankets <laughs> yeah. i don't well, know they, they i call didn't know well, there was a name the other acceptable vernacular not by the mexicans is the uh, mexican drug rug is what they call <laughs> <it>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow i didn't you know that either or, or a spring cover which is what americans use them for when your springs poking out you just cover that that's up. exactly it? right well so, you thought yeah. you could get a good deal on them but i think i paid retail Oh, yeah, retail down there. Yeah. Where, where, where at Mexico uh, did you buy them? Cancun. Oh yeah, yeah. You oh yeah, he's probably one of those shops. Yeah. He's yeah. one of those tourist yeah. shops. He yeah. paid the gringo price. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Oh, Look here, he, here, here he comes. comes. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna jack it up. <laughs> Look, oh, his hey. wallet's already out. Look yeah. at him. I was gonna say, I got a story. I, I got a story about that. So uh, that's where we went on our honeymoon, and we went to uh, Playa, del, Playa del Carmen for the day. And that's supposed to be, you know, the big shopping area and all that kind of stuff. And we were like, oh, you know, we'll get the first shuttle and we'll hang out there all day, you know, go shopping and all that kind of stuff. And we were back on the second shuttle. Like, it was like, it was you such a your money where that, Just, no, everybody, like, trying to pull you in, they're trying to barter and all that. Like, I'm the guy, like, if you tell me how much it is and... And I don't think it's worth that. I just move on. Right. Like I don't. I don't barter. I don't. I, I don't right. know how to play that game. It's not a rush for you. Yeah. Right. I'm just. Yeah. Some people love that. For you, you know, the price is yeah. the price. Flea markets and whatever. If if you tell me it's twenty bucks and I don't think it's worth twenty bucks, you just walk I'm away. I'm just like, okay, great. You know. So, right. but man, it was just. I I was so just frazzled with that. That and the other thing was. Uh, uh, the lady's trying to grab my wife's hair to to braid, start braiding yeah. it to get braid the money her hair and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was nuts. There were, we were like, okay, we're out of here. Let's go back to the resort. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> get off her. Yeah. She's an American citizen. <laughs> right. <laughs> Gene, did you have the ladies trying to braid your hair when you went to Mexico? Trying to braid my hair? Yes. I have no hair. No. <laughs> I figured they would at least try. No. No. Uh-huh. Dang. They did no. this whole Bugs Bunny thing where they, where they just massage. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
didn't have that. Did Make I? it grow back. Uh, I don't think That's I was weird. on that boat. It was a different, different boat. boat. Different that boat. That was must, Tijuana. I well, must have been place. on a cheap boat. Okay. <laughs> Full price for uh, for half quality yeah. blankets. No, those yeah. look really good. They actually set the car off. I think. Yeah. yeah they well, did. it provides they, the right amount of color. Yeah. And well, they, it uh, complements really the floor yep. without even. It complements the floor, and then it and then it brings the outside in. I hope if anyone's listening, you really take the time to look at that. I know you're going to throw a couple of splash shots in there, but check out. Yeah. Sean's article yeah. and as many pictures as you can get your eyes on because it's still not going to do it justice. Yeah, no, it won't. Yeah, how about the won't. tank mount on that car? Oh, that's uh, the tank mount. Yeah, uh, it's homemade. Yeah, made, made here. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wanted something that would. Uh, I love those tanks. Those, yes, I think that's around a Model T. Yeah, style tank. Yeah, nine oh nineteen hundred. Yeah, vintage. but uh, yeah, I wanted something to look better than just your normal stuff back there but, right and it's a subtle looking deal you know but uh yeah another thing you do is uh, uh add the right amount of leather accents on everything yeah like there, well, it's it's a tasteful amount yeah I, and i i just i like the way you do it. it's like it's it's not overkill it's like right there leather yeah and then, right. and i then love the enough. leather strapping yes yes uh, yeah you know the hold downs. The hold downs for the hood, yeah, for yeah, the thirty two, yeah, yeah that like thirty two, and yeah. uh, I, that was one of the first compliments. Like he needs any compliments from anybody, much less me. The first couple times I'm over here, I was like, those look really cool. And he, he's, you're so forthcoming with like where you get it and how to do it. That's what I love about. For sure. Uh, I, I, that's all I said was, that looks really cool. And you said, well, that's a company out of California. I'll show you right here in the book. And you'll, you've <laughs> right. got catalogs and catalogs yeah, and stuff. Yeah, uh, those folks don't even. Uh, do hot rods right they do stuff like uh duesenbergs packards right yeah and they're a period correct uh, yeah to yeah. get you back to factory yeah. original nice. yeah and, well uh, they I, don't they don't know what you're gonna do the unholiness you're gonna do <laughs> <laughs> no they'd probably get a kick out i of bet it. you they would yeah. they probably do if anybody in that company is listening thank you <laughs> yeah. just like telling an antique guy you're gonna make that truck into a hot rod Ooh. oh yeah no. i ain't selling it to yeah. you. yeah if those guys see me coming they ain't selling it anyways yeah. they know i'm gonna do something <laughs> here too uh, he's gonna put a tattoo on the side of that truck isn't <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Right. No. right near the fender no. cowl i can see it like yeah. a neck tattoo he's probably gonna vandalize it um, so back to the 32, uh, those little stainless steel runners behind the straps, you make all those or yeah. was that something that you got? No, I got that idea when we went down to Georgia's one Saturday at a, um, a gathering down there and he had just built this, uh, that 30 something pickup that yeah. was all with the louvers. Oh yeah. I mean that thing. Oh yeah. That was the one yeah. that he was yeah. the green one. This, uh, with the yeah, mold car. Was, uh, yeah. The mold car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That thing. Was he drilled. Just, it's still dripping oh, wet from yeah. his drill. Oh, Steve, it's Steve mold car. Oh no, it wasn't the mold 32. No, you're talking about the pickup truck with all of the chrome louvers yeah. on it. I, I can't remember the name of the guy that built that. That uh, wasn't down there when we went down there. Well, that wasn't Paul a truck. actually yeah. built the motor for that truck. Really? Yeah. And it was, I don't know what it was now, but he built the motor. Dig that. Yeah. That was, was a younger builder that built that thing, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, was it was a tribute to, um, who was the guy that, uh, oh, man, it went, it went away, that did the racing back in the day. Um, gosh, I can't think of his name now, but it was a tribute to him. Right. Oh, the Miller truck. Yeah. The yeah. Miller. Okay, That's now it. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that was, yeah, that was epic. Well. Truck. We were trying to figure out a way to protect the paint from the buckles and all that. Yeah. Right. And they did that on the gas tank. And Dig it. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just they, migrate that idea over to yeah, the hood and I protect said, the well, paint. Well, there it is right there. So I went down to Hendricks, got some polished stainless. Yeah. And uh, the rest is bead rolled history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you use those little. They call them rivet bolts. They have a round, smooth head. Right. But you've got a nut on the back side, and that just added for sure more touch to the thing. And you ran those through the bead roller to get that shape to them? Yeah, it's yeah. got the two lines. Yeah. 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 Is it like, what, 22-gauge stainless? Yeah, it's thin. I yeah. went very... Maybe 23. Well, I didn't get down on that bead roller much. Cause yeah. I just wanted something to kind of highlight that stainless. Yeah, know? for sure. And more to his craft, you'd think those were bought out of a catalog. No, yeah. When you see those, and I'm sure Sean will have those on the podcast, when you see the front end of that car, 
Yeah. You're like, what catalog did that come out of? Like, didn't, that came James. out of uh, Von Gino's Direct. That's right. Von, <laughs> Von Gino's Direct. That is right. <laughs> but that's uh, quality. Uh, you know, it's interesting, and Mike can back me up. But the, our friendships blossomed over the last year, year and a half. But it's uh, the parallels of the sedan are ridiculous. Because, yeah. you know, when I came to you, I was like, well, he and I's personalities as far as uh, aircraft. Like I've been talking about, yeah. I have another car that's somewhat abandoned at your Memphis Bell, B-17, Memphis yeah. Bell. I love aircraft. And then I start building the sedan because I need another project. Just like right. you said. And, uh, and that one's P-51 Mustang, car, yeah. car, car. So when he says, uh, he tells me all the drama he went through with the sedan he's like i had too much of a kick up and you look at the frame that i put together that joel was making fun of or was it uh stepan he said yeah. look at those bed rails on that thing yeah what a ridiculous kick up and he goes i had a 16 inch kick up yeah. i went too far yeah <laughs> we've gone too far <laughs> i did the same thing i was yeah. like no no that's that's where the gas tank's gonna be lying all the way yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we went over to his house to set up the four link and i'm like uh yeah. i think this kick up's gonna be a little bit too uh <laughs> that's too much that's your, too much up in your yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a crash bar. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to protect the fuel cell <laughs> and maybe tie my seatbelts to it. I don't know. Right we, uh, your shoulders. we chopped that thing right up there in that garage up there, and we were really doing a good job until the body fell off the frame. Cool, thanks. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I said, well. But it was fixable. Right. No, nothing major happened to it. So those those A models are so fickle, and that's what I love about when Mike was helping me with get into it. You know, you always have to have like a Sherpa helping you up that mountain oh, of Everest because yeah. if you, they look so simple. But if it's, if you don't know the personality of those A models, those early Fords, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. You don't know why the door doesn't line up. You don't know that the cow's tweaked a certain way unless you've seen it or, or before or had somebody that knows what they're doing. Yeah. And we had and still do have a heck of a time with the coop getting well, everything lined up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know too many people, but it's I, that that firewall sticks out a little bit on those Model A's. Yeah. So we reversed it. Dig that. Yeah. And Just that flipped it around flipped backwards. Right. Dig it. Yeah. That's old school stuff yeah. right there. And uh, that kept the car a little bit shorter yeah and made the motor fit up in there because them long them y blocks are kind of yeah. long yeah. yeah it's a big motor yeah, yeah. um yeah no i like the uh, everything about that car is classy oh well, thank like, you i mean it I'm, I'm gonna just keep telling to you uh, on and off camera <laughs> i like your musk yeah. <laughs> so uh, so let's, let's well um uh, Oh, okay. <laughs> let's uh, let's double back to this magazine article. So, when is that that going to be in the magazine? Well, what magazine? That I can't. That I can't tell you. You can't can, tell me. No, I mean I don't know. I won't know until I until, until you, I submit it. Until you they, submit it. Yeah, I submit it, and then okay, they'll figure out. Me? They'll figure out which issue. I'll have to. Well, I'll keep people informed. Stay tuned through the podcast. To stay yeah. tuned. When that, so, when that so will be. what is the name of the magazine? Can we know that? It's modern rotting. There it's modern it rotting. He said it's okay, modern it's coming. rotting. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to reiterate Coming that. soon to Brian, an issue near yeah. you. Brian Brandon is the editor of Modern Rotting. So. Okay. If Brian, that's, if you're listening, go. Yeah. Annie Up Pal, it's an awesome car. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a very, very good car. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, Well, I mean, you could awesome. pick almost any of these done or half done cars here. Absolutely. We're talking oh, about. Oh, that 32 well, in there is good. We've get talked about. Ones. Yeah, we've talked about two cars, but I mean, there's a stable yeah. Yeah. here. Absolutely. There's a wagon out there. The we wagon. didn't even talk about the roof to your sedan that, that has some ties to that wagon. Oh yeah, we were yeah. talking about the. Uh, Once you abandon the the, the gold wing right, situation, the, uh, the top in that uh, sedan is from a '59 station wagon, which you have sitting right here. Yeah, which I have sitting right there, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah. But uh, say say you chopped up a perfectly good '59 station wagon. Somebody in. did. Somebody <laughs> did. Put yeah. that roof in there. And the thing about it, I just wanted the top. Right. Well, they created. They cut it. At the right post. At, at the post. Yeah. Right. And they sent me the A pillar, the D, the B, C, D, oh E, <laughs> F. So part on of the, the bright part, side. Part of the floor. <laughs> on the bright side, they could have made a really good ranchero uh, out of the wagon they cut that roof yeah, off of. Uh, and when I went to go get it, that thing was on a skid, on a pallet. Yeah. I said, well, I went in my truck. Well, I got to go get a trailer. Yeah, it'll be because bad. it was too big to go in the truck. That's was so it a two door roof or a four door roof? Four door. Okay, that's mm -hmm. so funny. Okay. The, again, the parallels. Yeah, 
because Mike was at my house in that nonsense, and uh, I had gotten the idea to harvest a uh, Jeep Renegade. Yeah. Never seen it done before. Maybe it hasn't ever been done. Might be the first if I can ever get it done. Right. (laughs) But uh, this thing just added to the list. Oh, it's an ever growing list, man. But uh, that thing lined up so crazy. It was almost like it was made to be there. They do line up good. I mean, the the crowns. Yeah, the the crown on that. Yeah. Yeah. Jeep has had a pedigree in donor roofs. So you're talking about a a Jeep on on, on an A? Yeah, it's already, if you come to. Our haphazard shop that's almost weeks away from opening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's sitting one. in the back. The roof that's actually grafted to it. Mike and I lined up, but when I went and harvested that thing off Mister Complete, uh, thanks Mike from down there. <laughs> he let me on the yard. He's like, "I'll cut you a deal, but you got to cut it off yourself." And I went with half the tools I needed, and he wound up helping me anyway. Which <laughs> he was. <laughs> he, I've got a I've got a GoPro time lapse of that, and uh, the the carbon steel the jeep is putting in the rollover package for those things now is a plus because yeah. like, i went through like <laughs> eight blades than you thought. <laughs> i went through eight blades almost set the yard on fire which i have a tendency to do but the uh, firefighters <laughs> <right>? they <laughs> always set stuff, always they, uh, set stuff on but fire. i i've got pictures on my uh instagram of the donor like it was like he said i i cut so much when he when mike came out to look at it oh no it's paul excuse me paul Paul came out to look at it. He said, Jesus, man, I didn't know you were going to take that much of it. Like, I, I always take more than you need. I cut all the way down to the top of the door. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know how much metal I'm going to need. Make it a roadster, man. Yeah. It's all right. Part of the windshield is yeah. in it. Oh, yeah, no, I cut halfway through the windshield. <laughs> I cut up cars for a living. There was nobody trying to be saved in that. I had all the time in the world. And, <laughs> and, and your Instagram name is what? Oh, it's, it's introduction, Javier.Augustine. Come there, see me. There, Come there, see there. about me. <laughs> it's wide open. No privacy. Follow me. Don't follow me. <laughs> see something you like? Stop by. Right. <laughs> so what are you working on right now, Gene? Well, I've been trying to work on the Model A back here. Yeah. Um, but, right, I think things are fixing to change. Uh, I got this uh, frame in a couple of weeks ago. We we got it in epoxy primer. And, Tell me about uh, that. What frame uh, you got? That is a uh, Bolden Brothers frame. They're out of California. It's got a, uh, it's a 714, they call it. It's kicked up seven inches in the front. It's uh, 14 inches kick up in the back, and uh, it's mandrel bent is yeah. what really sold me for sure on the on the frame. Uh, but it's tailored specifically for a certain. Yes, they have uh, taken a 36 cab. You can go on their page, and you can actually see how this truck cab is going to set down. It is channeled down over the frame. Right. So. It's low. Yeah. I mean, uh, and with it being chopped, uh, it's going to be low flying aircraft coming in. So, right. uh, yeah. So you got your 36 cab to put on that thing? Yeah. Um, it's going to need a little work, but we've got it thanks to Javi. I mentioned to him about getting a 36. Well, I was going to go with a 4048, but I really like the body lines mm-hmm. on the 30. The 35, the 35 through the 37 are about the same body yeah, lines. Yeah, it's got that swoop. Yeah, and that, that just that just really looks good. Yeah. Six months I heard him talk about how yeah. he – you know, you ever hear somebody like they're content with something, but right. then in the background they're like, but I'd really like yeah. that right. other thing. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to use this really, cab, We're going to use this, want. but I really yeah. – what I really want – Well, he – you, well, now the beautiful story did there you is. Call me up? Oh, it was better than that. You were having your knee surgery. Oh, that's right. The day of your knee surgery, I'm at Mike's shop, and I'm just like everybody who's in obsession crisis mode. Well, that was January the 19th. Yeah. Wow, that's specific. And you see, yeah. you don't have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently, it was January 19th. But this guy. Well, I found you one somewhere. Oh, no, you were already in anesthesia. You were down. And I had text your phone. I had text his phone, and I was hoping I'd catch him before. You know, they they, have, they hustle you in there like yeah. five thirty in the morning. Doctor ain't cut until ten. So right, you know, easy. You gotta so be you, there. You can't eat anything the night before. Right. You gotta be there at five thirty. The doctor's not even had his coffee yet by seven. Right. And uh, what did I say? Go get it. Uh, so I text him. I don't hear anything back, and I was like, 
wake up. I need you to wake up out of your surgery because I found this thing. <laughs> out of your surgery. <laughs> I need I need you to I need you to I need the anesthesia to wear off. And I got or I don't think this is consensual. So I called I finally got a hold of Miss Linda and you were in post op. Okay. You weren't even out of you weren't oh. even in the recovery bed. See he doesn't this is the funniest part about this whole thing. Right. I don't even think you remember this conversation. I, I don't. Called, <laughs> I, I call, feel like I've been taken advantage of. Yeah, I, I called it. He he was probably still twilighted out. I called him and I said, uh, uh, Linda answered the phone. And I said, uh, is he out? How's he doing? He's fine. Surgery went well. I said, can he talk? <laughs> I said, I guess. Yeah, sure. And uh, Gene, what's up, man? Hey, Javi, what's up? And he sounded, you know, legal. Ish. <laughs> like, like, are you of sound mind? Don't answer that. So the... Uh, <laughs> I found a 36. I sent pictures to you. Do you want it? And he, he, didn't, he didn't even look at the pictures. He's like, 36 cab? I said, yeah. He goes, do it. <laughs> he said, do, do it. He, well, I think you said, your exact words was, is it good? That was all you said. Is it good? I said, it's the best. <laughs> hey, I have to right left. on that. You know. you know, it's the best. Well, where's it at? It's in Missouri. We'll work that out. Okay, I'm going to tell the guy. The guy said he had sold it already. I really? was super bummed. I, I was super that. bummed. I said, uh, well, it's for a dear friend of mine, and I started playing the violin music. You know, yeah. He's not doing yeah. well. He's in the hospital. Yeah. And I'm just <laughs> 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 It was knee surgery. But <laughs> You're right. But no, I told him if it falls through, call me. And one, it, that was a Thursday, I believe, and on Friday. I do remember. Yeah, I yeah, remember a little bit On Friday, he called, he called me direct and said, if you want it, it's yours. I said, yeah. I said I'm on the way. Right now, yeah. like it was Friday night. You made it up there and back in one day. Didn't I hot shot it every time. Yeah, if there's something that needs to be got, you know why? Because oh, I, I realized with Facebook and anyone listening that does deals like that, if you don't do it right then and there, yeah, you're it, right. It's, it's not uh, going to happen. It may not be there when you. You have if you want you if you want it. something and it pops up, you tell them yeah. I'm on the trailer or in the truck on the way to you. Yeah, it may be stuck on a trailer for two days on the way back. But that will be there. That was my property. <laughs> <laughs> And where is it at now, Shawnee boy? <laughs> so, so here's the question: Is we've got video of that. the the 36 um, truck with the frame? What? What's what's going on with that? What's the plan with that uh, uh, 36 cab in the frame? Yeah, get the uh, get it put together. Yeah, you know, uh, get it ready for the show. Yeah, um, I got the motor working on it some. Yeah, uh, got what? the transmission. What motor uh, transmission? Well, well it's typical, <laughs> simple. Small block? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know, typical. What, what's on top of that thing? What, how's it breathing? Um, I hope the tunnel round. Yeah, yeah, you got two, four tunnel rounds. But it might be three deuces. It'll, well, you know, it's typical. You know, just typical. Something simple. Right. You know, yeah. Multi-carb setup, no big deal. Yeah. I, I like three deuces. Yeah, yeah. I, I do too. So, you know. so, so this is going to be what we're building at the Legend Show. I hope uh, so. Now we're we, there. We, we are going to try and get all this stuff put together, chopped, possibly floor, maybe even a bed endeavor. We're not certain on that. We haven't talked on uh, any of that. We'll see what how it transcends. Uh, My question is, is how comfortable are you <laughs> <laughs> with the fact uh, that we're going to take all of your parts, something that you've sought after for forever, Load it onto a trailer, throw it in a parking lot, and do our best to put it together in three days. Seventy-two that is, hours. That's counter. That's counterintuitive mm. to you. I know it is. It's well, it's, it's going to be not meticulous. <laughs> I'm doing what I can here. He's yeah. he's, you know. he's freaking out over here, but when yeah. we get there, I guess he's got to. Hey, uh, he's going to have it prepped together so it's like snapped together. When yeah, you I'm guys sure feel like Legos <laughs> yeah. numbered. Every every bolt's going to have a torque spec. Like, <laughs> like, no, no, Mike, Mike, it goes over there. It goes over there. <laughs> I'm cool with that. I can take direction. Oh, that right. won't bother me a bit. There'll be a lot undone, believe me. Yeah, but. Uh, uh, well, Sean's I'm, volunteered to do all the electrical by himself for three really? days. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I wire it for you. Okay. I got you. Yeah, that's I'm definitely well, that Sean, yeah. not this Sean. <laughs> yeah, I Sean was buying Sean. the uh, 
the Easy Wire kit. Oh, okay. oh well, look, your job's that, done. Perfect. All you got to do is glue perfect. it on there. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, I'll get with wire. you, and we'll we'll put all the pieces and parts yeah. and the switches. And I mean, it's just going to be a, min, a minimum uh, put together. Right. Yeah, you know? like a little eight-circuit um, harness. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, piece of cake. Yeah. Get it going. You no know? power windows. Oh, no, no. No air, air conditioning. conditioning. No, 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 no. Lock. Power seats. Oh, no. Seat Ro- warmers. Roof rack. Seat warmers. <laughs> but we're going to have uh, cup holders, though. Well, yeah. yeah there you go. I like cup holders. Yeah. Where are you going to so, put your sweet tea? So, so Brarington, what are you doing on the car? Taking pictures Taking of pictures it. of it. Yes. Probably, yeah. <laughs> That's what he does. And I'll be running around like an idiot, probably selling T-shirts or and something. And putting out buyers yeah, putting like out everything buyers. else. Yeah. yeah, while y'all are just over there like right. concentrating on the car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, Welcome, everybody, to the Legend <laughs> Show. <laughs> so and uh, y'all uh, <laughs> might want to cut this out, but if there are any guys want to help, just holler at me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or Mike Abbott. Yeah, or, yeah. Are you gonna or Sean? Yeah, you, you're gonna help us, right? Yeah. You're yeah. gonna help us do this thing. Heck yeah, he's gonna. Yeah. Help. Oh, I told oh, him yeah. after he got out of the hospital, he's he's, uh, he's been promoted. He's a shop foreman now. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, we I didn't need know that. that. You knew that. I told you that. I don't want to be a shop foreman. Okay. You want to work for a living still. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's okay. Didn't want all that responsibility. Yeah. 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 Get Look some more PT knee. on that knee, man. He's ready to go. Oh, That's right. Hey, Speaking of that, head. and there's a video, stick around after the credits like a Marvel thing. <laughs> this guy, they make you stand up and walk out of the hospital now when you have total knee replacement. Apparently, he's on a walker. I showed up after that hot shot run to get the cab and like a little kid on christmas he comes hobbling out there with his walker (laughs) (laughs) to see it yeah yeah Yeah. i I got video of that yeah well well if i can find it we'll attach that to the thing it's uh it's been a tough three to four months yeah i know for sure yeah Yeah. but But things are getting brighter i hope so You, you you still got some gas left in the tank i hope so absolutely yeah i just take it day by day yeah, that's the only yeah. way you can take it. Well, I'm here for it. Mm. Keep moving. That's but, it. Uh, Just keep moving. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's what I've been trying to tell my dad, too. It's like, I'm like, you just got to keep moving. Yeah. Like, don't don't stop. You need purpose. That's why, yeah. Need, yeah. You need something to do. Keep moving. Absolutely. Somehow the doctors, somehow the doctors, uh, they can see your activity level. And they told me last week that... Uh, we didn't expect you to. Yours was too much. Yeah. <laughs> did you tell Did you tell me. the doctor to go find less? <laughs> You're doing yeah. too much. We'll find less, doc. Well, even in rehab, I was in the wheelchair, and I, I said, "You want to race, buddy?" <laughs> yeah. They had to slow me down. That's what I'm talking you about, know, man. Oh, so, hot riders, man. What are yeah, you gonna do? You're walking too fast, you know. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah. We'll dig it. Well, so, so Gino, I've got a, I've got a question for you. Sure. We've, uh, we've had a couple of episodes where we've actually talked about Bluefoot. You know, oh. he, he's come up in conversation. Yeah. And you own his old, it's a 59 uh, yeah. Ford wagon. It's a 59 uh, country sedan, two-door. Yes. Yeah. And when you got that, it wasn't red when you got it, was it? Uh, red it, and black, maybe? No, it was more on the, of the Tennessee orange color. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. That, that color. So this is the same <laughs> car that that Blue worked out of. He pinstriped. Yes, out of it that is. Color. I remember seeing it. Uh, he would go to work. He, I believe, he was a pipe fitter, plumber. Yeah, I think so. But I would uh, see that car. <laughs> well, well, we heard that he's a narc. Uh, he was a narc narcotics agent. Narcotics agent. Narcotics uh, agent. What? Yeah. Yeah. That was. Uh, I, I don't. Who I don't said know who that? it was. It was. It's on the um, Facebook or YouTube. Somebody had posted. Oh uh, yeah, because uh, Lewis Kimmery had posted a picture of his, of his Mercury. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Right. Okay. So so I posted it on the forty nine through fifty one Mercury page, saying, "Hey, we're looking for this car if anybody." Right. Anyway, knows it or whatever, and uh, and somebody who knew him, um, well, somewhat knew him or whatever. She, she, I think it was a she, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, keep going. He or she said, <laughs> you know, uh, he was a narcotics agent. Get out of here! And I was like, I, I, was like I don't think so, but Blue. I don't really know, you know, or whatever. And and uh, yeah, she said no. Uh, Bluefoot was said, a yeah, he but, was a biker. 
Yeah. Uh, he was a pinstripe guy. Yeah. And, and for a minute, he was a pipe fitter. But you know what, Probably though? So. And a skydiver. I was and a say, skydiver. But you know, I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't put it past him. He was an arc, arc agent. <laughs> like it, you know? I think he was just so, a legendary dude. Yeah, so he, he was, was one of those dudes that people just made up the. I mean, the guy wrestled yeah. bears. Yeah, right. right, right. They made up all kinds That's of stuff. That's real, by the way. Go yeah. back and that watch happened. the Ricky Neal episode. Yeah. 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 So, so back, back to the yeah. car. So. Yeah. Blue actually used to pinstripe out of that car. That's right. epic. If you, if you called him for it, when when you got the car, was there any spilt paint and and stuff like that in the back? But no, it was um, sitting in his driveway over there on Tillman. Yeah, and uh, uh, you know he did window etching, glass etching. Yes, and yes. I've still got uh, the glass back on the back side. Yeah. it's about four or five foot long. Yeah. And uh, where he had done some etching. On that car. But the car had all kind of um, issues with it. Yeah. Um, but he had graduated from that into a Caprice, I think. That was the blue car with You're the right. blue flames. Right. right. Yeah. I gotcha. But I had been looking for a wagon. I really wanted a 57. Yeah. But this was here local, and I knew the car, and uh, I knew Bluefoot. And uh, I was, we made a deal. Yeah, yeah. that and a lot of people are jealous. That a lot really? of people love that yeah. car. Mm, well, yeah. it's been a complete frame off registration. Yes, registration. <laughs> registration. I like it. Yeah. I'm gonna call it. You know it what? That from now from on, now that's on. what it's gonna be. Because at <laughs> yeah. some point, you plan on driving it. I got yeah. four. Yeah. No, it's been a future re- registrations. Yeah. Hopefully, it's been a frame off <laughs> <laughs> restoration. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. that's part of Memphis well, history, right that's there. That's a beautiful it car. Yeah. yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. That's a beautiful car. Red. There was another car, though, you're affiliated with that's red. I oh, wanted to talk about. Oh, the 34. Is this is this the uh, Von Dutch situation? The no. El- the no. Elvis car? Oh, the Elvis Not car. Not the 34. Oh, the, yeah. That's the, the Elvis, uh, That's the, the little sprint The little sprint car. car. Yeah. That yeah. thing's got some history. I didn't even know after talking to you. Yeah, well. We I, can touch on it. What is okay, it? Okay, I'll make it sweet and short. Uh Jimmy Coffer had contacted me about doing some metal work. And uh, I said, sure, I'll come by there and take a look at it. Well, he needed the whole front cap, grill shell, hood, sides. To a mini sprint. <laughs> yeah. That's what a happened? lot of work. What had yeah. happened to it? Uh, why, why, what, what was wrong with it? Why did it need a... The car had been dismantled, and it was owned by several different people. Yeah. So they had to try to get the frame, the body. Somebody didn't want to sell this or that, and the uh, the front, the body, the frame was made out of stainless steel. Wow. It was made by Solar. Wow. A company. Now I'm just going on what Jimmy has told me. Yeah, for sure. Um, it was made by an aircraft company called Solar out in California. But anyway, Jimmy was commissioned to uh, get this thing back going. Well, just to get it back to the way it would look when Elvis had the car. Elvis had wrecked it right. at some point in time. And uh, I went over there and look, looked at it, and I said, yeah, I'll you know, try it. And all we had to go by was an 8 by 10 black and white picture. Right. And uh, I... Talked to Jimmy quite a bit about, well, what about this? What about that? Mm-hmm. And he would say, he was real easy going. He'd say, just try to get it as close as you can. Yeah, yeah. And it had a scoop coming up out of the hood. And I don't know if that was for the carburetor or if that was a tachometer housing. Right. Yeah, it was a goofy-looking scoop. It was. Yeah. So I was scratching my brain to figure out, well, what can I get? So I ended up getting a turnout that was made for a four-inch header yeah, <laughs> and made it where it would fit contour on the hood. For sure. Made it where it would bolt on and off, and uh, that was one obstacle that was pretty well taken care of. But the motor was, like, so big, it had this blister on the side. Yeah. Because those motors were offset in the frame for cornering. Right. And uh, it was tight. I tell you, that that little cockpit, it was tight. Yeah, it was but, small. I, I can imagine know. Elvis was, was oh, yeah. greased to get in yeah. there. <laughs> you know, he, uh, 
I guess he had the car when, oh. Who owned it before him? Oh, he yeah. bought it from somebody. I was just thinking about that. This car was Von Dutch owned it before El. He bought it that from Von epic. Dutch, I believe now. Oh, my is this, God. So this thing's at the museum? Yeah. Uh, last I heard, it was at the Elvis Museum. Yeah. Mm-hmm, on display. At Graceland. At, so at yeah. Graceland. imagine this, and this is just how my brain works. I wonder what the conversation looked like between Von Dutch and and Elvis when they were bartering that deal. That had to have been so yeah, epic. Uh, I wish I had a picture of that. Yeah, right, right. It was uh, at a sh- car show at the fairgrounds. Here in Memphis. Here, Here yes. In Memphis. Yeah, and Von and Dutch had it at a car show in Memphis. Uh, I don't know if Elvis had had I think Elvis had it then. Right. Yeah. Well, the, one of the Memphis Rodders contacted one of Elvis's people. People. And they needed some cars to come to this car show. Okay. Now, this is just what stuff I've heard. Don't That's in the early years. Yeah, of the yeah, yeah. Riders. I think I, yeah. if I remember correctly, Mar- Marshall said that that was like the first official, yeah, gathering. the first official yeah. show the that official they had show, at yeah. the fairgrounds, and they needed extra. Right. They, they, they yeah. needed yeah. something to Plump bring it up people. a little. Yeah, bit. they needed yeah. something to bring yeah. people in. Bring people so, in. Yeah, so wow. Elvis, Elvis brought them And in. this picture that I've got, it was a copy of a copy. George Klein signed it, and uh, Alan Fortas. Wow. Signed it. And uh, you know, I think Jimmy Coffer's got more pictures if you want to go down there. He can yeah. tell you a full blown. Uh, he's definitely somebody we want on the podcast. Yeah, yes. he can tell you a full blown. Yeah, we were talking about that story. today. We were like, yeah. Jimmy you know, Coffer, we got to have yeah, him. He, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, podcast. You know, all I did was just a minimum amount of work and gave it back to Jimmy, and they painted it. Uh, Cecil's upholstery did the up, upholstery work. Yeah, and, and it looks it's good, good too, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's Cecil's son and actually I, works in somebody else's shop. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 And Imagine I, I think uh, I think Aaron Ballou did did some of the the lettering on. Uh, they the really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I think so. I think so, he did. Yeah. And then they got a guy that used to be local here, Perkins. Perkins was his name. I can't think. Ca- of Carl. His... Carl Perkins. No. no. <laughs> not, not this was after no. that. Real no. fancy <laughs> on the guitar, that guy. But I he don't got know. he got rhythm. I don't yes, know. he does. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah. But I do know Blue. Yeah. I remember yeah. Jimmy telling me that Blue did. Yeah. Uh, so that's a that's a big deal for Aaron following oh, Von yeah, Dutch, man. man. Good for yeah. you, brother. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That was the highlight of my career i guess when that i mean that's a big yeah, deal you, know. you worked on von dutch's car hey and elvis and elvis's and elvis's yeah. Car, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah that's and her name's good. von gino well the 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 story <laughs> the story on that from what i understand too was that that elvis wrecked it right like you yeah. said but but it he didn't sell it his father Took it from him? Uh, yeah. Because he wrecked really? it? Yeah, because no, because he was do like... Do you have the pantomime story of how he wrecked it? Was he drunk? <laughs> was he driving it down Elvis Presley no Boulevard? Idea. No, come probably, on, man. It was probably just the boulevard no, back then. I, 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 was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, I, I what was it called one. before Elvis lived there? Highway 51? Highway it was 51. just Highway 50? Yeah. Or was it Bellevue all the way down? Uh, it was 50, Bellevue. Uh, it had to have been Bellevue. Had to have been. And turn to 51 once you cross the state line. No, it turned into Bellevue. No, it's always been highway 51 it's a route it's route yeah, highway yeah. 51 but, but. It, it turns into bellevue on the other side of the interstate so i bet bucks it was just bellevue before it was ep yeah been. well yeah. something I, like, I, I set up uh, i set up elvis presley command on a wreck yesterday yeah. which do what it, i work down there now i'm riding yeah. up as oh, a lieutenant no oh so, that's cool yeah i've i've made calls into graceland already and have you seen him <laughs> No, I wasn't wrecking a car in You, you went upstairs? <laughs> no, no, we haven't done that. I don't know if that's going to happen. That's fine. Well, his spirit is there. No. His, spirit, there. his yeah. spirit will always be there, yeah. right? A little less yeah. talk, a lot yeah. more action. <laughs> well, here we go. <laughs> yeah. It's all downhill. Do it. Do it. Look, yeah. look. Full in. Go full in. Yeah. Commit. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> No. I'm not, <laughs> I, I'm not your puppet. <laughs> not a performing monkey. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> what else we got? What, what we want to add to this thing? Let's tie a bow on this thing. So, so let, let's talk a little bit about the Legend Show. Um, we were thinking Labor Day. Yeah. And um, we are eh, not quite ready to announce where it's yeah, going to be. Not quite. We're, we're working that out. but uh, Everybody has to wear white. Everybody has to wear white. <laughs> so and uh, also. Wimbledon. Um, it's at Wimbledon. 
No. Yes. <laughs> also, it it will uh, it will be um, the latch years legend show will be featured in uh, in Trent's magazine. There you um, go. Um, oh, we better get hot on what, this. What's Trent uh, Shells? Yeah. Trent what's, Shells? Oh no, let's yeah. talk about that for a second. What's, what's the name Sean, of the magazine? Old school rotten custom. Sean Young made this outlandish. I want to say blue esque. Claim oh. that you that oh. you would have this thing. You made a deal with the with the, the devil. With, no, well, man, I don't know what you did behind closed doors, but the, uh, <laughs> the, you got your car chopped. Okay, that was yeah. enough. No, the PPG people. You, no, you, no, not PPG. Who was it? No, no. House of Color. House, House of, color? of Color. House oh, yeah. of Pain. It sounds That's like I'm in. That you got your pain. I've acquired well, some paint. Acquired some paint, but you made this claim. We will. You're, I get it. We were all excited. We I got know, it. I we know. we will be driving this at the next show. Painted. painted. Yeah, I did painted. say that. Painted. And and luckily, I think well, if we we have a shop now and we can. No, no. <laughs> I think I think if it if the metal work is done and all of that's done by the time of the show, we'll be lucky. Oh, why you're looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I'm sitting up there on Saturday. Days twiddling my thumb, going, man, I wish it. I wish we can bring this damn car up here. We cancel shop shop we've, nights we've, just to get your mercury. Okay, right. I'll be there Saturday. Okay, all right. <laughs> so I'll, it's, stop, uh, I'll stop by with donuts. It, I, I won't. Trends Magazine is Speed and Culture. They will speed be. Culture, yeah. They will be um, um, featuring. featuring the show um, in their issue just before the event, Very whatever cool. issue that is. August. Yeah. Um, so so make sure that you uh, you check out their magazine and give that a look. If you want to see what last year looked like. Yes. You, I, see you know, I like how magazine. much momentum that the show's already gotten. Last year was a chop. And that was a big deal. It was huge. It was yeah. a huge deal. It was yeah. fun. Like, who's undertaking that? Who, who thinks about that? Many people, probably. Uh, really? And then it's like, you know what? How we top that? Let's build an entire... Well, vehicle. somebody it. somebody told me earlier what what my number one problem is. They said, Mike, your number one problem is is everything you do, you swing for the fence. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you miss one hundred percent of the shots you don't take. I'm swinging for the fence. Amen. It's a basketball with a baseball reference. But I, go yeah, I, I, don't, I don't understand what the hell you're talking about. I don't even watch sports <laughs> or TV. You gotta shoot your shot, homie. Anyway, <laughs> shit your shot. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, home run. All right, we're going off the beaten home path. Home run. Yeah. Uh, home legend run. show. We don't have an exact place Labor around day. Labor Day. Everyone start getting excited. Labor Go back day, and look weekend, at the uh, sure. videos and pictures, and yeah. look for the magazine yeah. featurette. Yeah. So, so Gene, uh, what you got to add? Get her done. Get her done. <laughs> <laughs> got got one last thing to, to kind of throw at everybody. So, uh, Sean and I went to the uh, funeral services for Melody Kelly today. Yeah. Hated to hear yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, the Kellys, uh, her, her husband, Dennis, was a prominent hot rod guy around Memphis. And he, I think he passed seven years ago. Seven years ago. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Melody passed and left us uh, a few days ago. So, hats off and prayers Absolutely. to uh, yeah. the Kelly family. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Most definitely. And Dennis and Blue will be there meeting. Oh her for yeah, sure. it's a mess yeah. right now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no sure. doubt. But she was one a of fantastic the sweetest, lady. Yeah, one of yeah. the sweetest ladies. Yeah. Like uh, uh, you want to talk about somebody that you never, you never saw her without a smile on for her sure. face. Always happy, no matter yeah. what it was. Yeah, yeah, no matter what it was. Always she wasn't. Happy. You know what I liked about her? Very briefly, I met her. If I can say anything sweet was that she wasn't just tolerant of our retarded behavior and, was, and obsession. Right. She was genuinely happy to see people happy doing, having this hobby. Yeah. yeah. And she was happy to share in that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you, and you pray, if you're a guy or girl in this, that you find a significant other that's into that. And she, uh, was, she was definitely in. that. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was definitely in. Yeah. She, the, uh, Joe Cappadonna had a, had a photo, I think it was 2008 or something, where she was, she, uh, presented him with a, a, a cake for his birthday and you know she was like Marilyn Monroe looking <laughs> yeah you know, and it was just it was just so typical of her, her and, yeah. and what and what you would would see for, for sure her, for, yeah for sure so she was a great girl yeah, yeah. Really fantastic yeah so Sean what are you doing this weekend I am going to battle in Bama. Dig I leave oh. Thursday. Leave Thursday. I've. Uh, it's cleaned. not even a car show. You just, know. just a monster going, truck race. Going to so fight. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. It, it. Man. It's such a great show. Uh, Craig Rowley puts that on, and um, it's my second year to go. First year to work it. Yeah. Um, commission to go there. Commission. Hey, yes. I like it. Yeah. Yep. Um, but uh, it takes place in front of the USS Alabama on Mobile Bay. Epic. 
awesome mm-hmm. talk about i mean photographers dream to have you Amen. know have yeah. a backdrop like that you got stuff. a battleship in the background exactly. i mean what the hell you that's amazing you can't beat that at all you know and then uh so Friday night they have uh, tacos on the battleship. So what? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I can't be there. I'm sorry. They, yeah. they I want to be serve there. Serve tacos on the <laughs> battleship. Serve tacos on Shit, the battleship. Shit, I'm gonna go just for Friday. I know. It just seems like bad logistics. Too too late, man. It's sold out. It's sold out. Wow. They have a 1,300 car limit. I got gotcha. you. Space. I can get but in. I might. I yeah, might know yeah, somebody yeah, if you yeah, commissioned. Yeah. Hey, if you actually came down there, then I, I could probably maybe yeah. pull a string or two. Um, but uh, no, my buddy Chris Johnston, um, he and I are going down there, and he was he was going to bring his uh, his Dodge truck that didn't quite didn't work out didn't so well. Quite get there, so yeah. little EFI yeah. issues as usual. You know, something here and there, and uh, um, the sucker started backfiring like nobody's business. Yeah, uh, we're not gonna say what what name what name it is. <laughs> Just gonna uh, hold my tongue when it comes what? to EFI. You know, yeah, I was gonna say. There you go. You could say carburetor or whatever, because every every one of the you know, it's one of those things where it's like it's you're you're dependent on electronics. You know, right. and, and not me. Yeah, yeah. not yeah. me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and uh, it, get a Y block with Pertronics. Yeah. It'll they're, be some yeah. point. No. Yeah. Right. No. See, I mean, that's the thing. Is like, uh, they're great when they work, but yeah. when they don't, sometimes they just don't. And yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, so what's your but, old um, saying, Mike? Yeah. What's that? What's your old saying um, about cars? Right. It's great when they're running and and hell when they're not. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I was gonna say and normal when they're not. Is that what? Yeah, <laughs> for me, <laughs> yeah, normal for, for me. For sometimes maybe good, sometimes yeah. maybe shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 I yeah. don't know, man. It's a that's that's old cars though. I mean, you're gonna have oh, problems. Yeah. Um, somebody told me the other day. They said the only old cars you're not gonna have problems out of are the ones that you keep parked in the garage, and that's the truth. Uh, that's absolutely. Just the truth. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's you know I I cleaned. <laughs> it was funny. So I've been. I was cleaning up the Chevy because I'm bringing the Chevy down there, and um, and I have not been underneath that car, well since I broke the panard bar on yeah. it, and um, but I didn't clean it. I haven't I haven't cleaned the underside of that car in forever, and you know the 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 mufflers have been busted open five yeah. million times and stuff, so it blows junk out of it, and and it was man, I went through, I think I went through seven or eight different. Uh, microfiber towels uh trying to clean it up and just and that wasn't like degreasing it was just cleaning it right but uh no it's fun you know so next thing to do is i get to start polishing polishing uh aluminum i hear you're good at polishing no he he knew he knew (laughs) a guy that would do a whole transmission (laughs) i know that's why i was like who is that guy Uh, that was a long time ago that don't exist no more i know because i want to yeah yeah. (laughs) Yeah. because i'd I'd really like to take my uh supercharger to somebody and have them polish that thing you guys send that out of town now and man the cost on something like that is yeah i think don's dance dance polishing i think up in adamsville yeah Yeah, i I think he does it yeah Yeah. so that's not bad i don't have to actually i could actually drive it up there and drop it off which would be nice because there's another place in ohio that's known for doing it so but uh yeah be nice so well, from we'll awesome, it. all of us here awesome, awesome. at uh, Von Gino's Garage. Von Gino. Thank you for stopping by, Gene. You're welcome. I enjoy um, it. Yeah, it's a, man. You're my guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Gene. Well, thanks. We really it's appreciate been, it. I enjoyed it, y'all. Thanks yeah, for listening. Great. We'll see you guys next week. Thank Absolutely. Bye bye. Bye.